All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's just get into the video. It's your boy, Peas. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Become a player in the palace. Subscribe to the channel. <sighs> Mikel Bridges for four unprotected first round picks. Bojan Bogdanovic, a 2025 protected Milwaukee first. A 2028 unprotected pick swap and a 2025 second round pick for Miles Bridge. I mean, for Mikel, for Mikel Bridges and a 2026 second round pick. Brooklyn has gotten their future back. They've gotten it tenfold back. And now the New York Knicks have Brunson, Josh Hart, I mean, Josh, saying Josh Hart's name second is crazy. Um, they're not gonna be able to sign Hartenstein because of this trade. It's gonna be very difficult to do that. OG is now a free agent who it seems is it doesn't seem like he's going to he's not coming back however the knicks have said they are trying to re-sign og and anobi they're going to be extremely aggressive now that they have uh now that they have traded from mikhail bridges but to be honest i feel like that just means og is out of there you know they didn't want to pay og that money they look at mikhail bridges as that replacement for og just in case if og doesn't want to resign and i can see how they want to get greedy by getting og and mikhail bridges but i just think that og leaves because og wants a bigger role og is not going to be convinced into taking another back seat to mikhail bridges and quite frankly as a pistons fan this scares me because it's so insane to try to spin this narrative towards us but somebody's got to pay og ananobi somebody's gonna have to give him that bigger role on the team right now it looks like the pistons are going to be filling that role um quite frankly because that's why og's leaving he wants a bigger role and if he joins the Pistons, like my friend told me when we were on the phone, that means that he does not care about winning. He just wants a bigger role. And I mean, I don't know how I feel about that, paying OG Ananobi all of this money. We'll, we'll see. We will honestly see how that turns out. Um, I personally believe we need a bunch of vet guys that can really solidify the team and help translate to building up these young guys and winning basketball games. OG, I believe, can translate to winning basketball games, but I feel like there's just more that needs to be done. And now for the Pistons, that also shows the interest of Isaiah Hartenstein, because Pistons fans was also looking at him as well. You know, Hartenstein's not going to be able to come back to this Knicks team. Um, Mitchell Robinson, it looks more and more like he'll actually be able to stay unless if there's a compelling enough trade to where they'll be good to get rid of him. Tonight is absolutely insane. This makes the Knicks insanely good because you add a player like Mikel Bridges. He is, to me, way better than OG Ananobi. Mikel Bridges, I have said, is a 50-40-90 guy in the right system. Mikel Bridges can really do it. He, he can get it done. He is a, he is a lights-out shooter. He's a great defender. I believe he can get it done. And it honestly makes me terrified of seeing these Knicks. And I have never thought to say that outside of Carmelo Anthony. You know, these Knicks look real. These, these are the best I've seen these Knicks, I hate to say. Um, but also, moving on in other news, Kevin Durant is about to go to the Houston Rockets. <laughs> Possibly even more insane news than the Mikel Bridges trade because Houston has traded and acquired the Suns' first-round picks. What does this mean exactly? Simple. Uh, Matt Ishba can literally get out of the mess that he put himself in with uh, trading for Kevin Durant. He can get the picks back. He can wash his hands of it because Bradley Beal can't get traded. He can't get traded because he he knew this was going to happen. So that's why he has a no trade clause. So that leaves Devin Booker and Kevin Durant. And right now Houston has a real sweet deal, including what what pick is this that Houston has? I, I believe it's number three. This is absolutely insane. This is absolutely insane. And this is a day before the NBA draft. 
this video was originally only going to be about the Pistons and our draft strategy and us trading this pick away. We need to trade the pick away to get a vet guy, a stud that can come in and help Cade Cunningham. But right now, that does not seem like it's going to happen. <coughs> It's not going to happen. It honestly is not going to happen, and I am terrified to see what is about to happen with this because this this destroys the market. This Mikel Bridges trade destroys the market. You have five, what is it, five first-round picks for Mikel Bridges? Mikel Bridges, I would say around the same, I would say personally around the same type of player as a Brandon Ingram. Brandon Ingram a much better scorer, but Mikel Bridges a much better defender. Tomato, tomato. So that causes an obvious issue where Pistons fans were saying, oh no, we're going to get a first round pick back from, from, uh, from the Pelicans. That You should have known that wasn't going to happen in the first place because originally Pistons fans were looking at trading Jaden Ivey, the number five pick, and some other assets for Brandon Ingram, and they thought we were going to get a pick back. You're out of your mind. You're not do getting that for Brandon Ingram. And we also wanted everybody. You know, every Detroit Pistons fan wants Devin Booker back. They're in a hole. They have to either trade KD or Devin Booker. This isn't going to work now because of this Mikel Bridges trade. It's all ruined. It is all honestly ruined. So. Another thing to also look for for the Pistons is Nick Claxton. So the Nets are in full rebuild mode. They're tearing absolutely everything down. They're going down to the bare bones in Brooklyn. So what does that mean for us? We can possibly get our hands on Nick Claxton. That is what that means. But this is, this is just going to be very interesting. So going back to the Houston deal Brooklyn Nets has a deal with Houston to return the Nets 2026 first round pick for a 2027 Phoenix Suns first round pick the Rockets also acquired 2025 right to swap Houston OKC first for 2025 Suns first round pick so yeah the Suns get their first round picks back and this is very tantalizing because again Matt Ishabu can wipe his hands of all of this um, I just want to hear what y'all are thinking in the comment section because this is absolutely insane. I'm all over the place because it's just so much news going around. It just it doesn't even it it doesn't make sense. It honestly doesn't make sense. You still have Tobias Harris news about we're closing in on a deal to bring Tobias Harris back to Detroit. I absolutely hate that. Unless if you're somehow bringing in a guy like Jared Allen all, as well, I'm for it. But if you're not bringing in other guys along with Tobias Harris. I don't want this deal to get done. The Pistons have over $60 million in cap space. We have to re-sign K to the max. No, no ifs, ands, or buts. We have to re-sign K to the max. We have to unload that first that first round pick. I'm terrified that they're going to use that first round pick because we don't need any more young guys. We need guys that are going to step in and step up. We need solidified guys. Hell, trade back. As long as it means you're getting good veteran leadership, not guys like Corey Joseph, not guys like DeLon Wright. I'm just, I, I, I'm sick of, I am so sick of it. I'm sick. I am sick of getting these old washed up guys. No offense to y'all, but you just didn't work out in Detroit. I'm absolutely sick and tired of it. I, I can't handle this. I honestly can't. So being, it's just great being a basketball fan all around right now. It's just it's it's just so amazing to see right now. This is absolutely insane, and the Knicks still own the twenty fourth and the twenty fifth uh, pick in this year's draft. This is, I'm just now realizing, four of these players on the New York Knicks are from Villanova. Josh Hart, DiVincenzo, Jalen Brunson, and Mikael Bridges. This, this is going to get crazy. This is going to be absolutely insane. And it's also looking like the Miami Heat is trying to trade up to number nine with the Memphis Grizzlies. 
this this is a lot this is absolutely a lot to just look at honestly i want to know what y'all uh thoughts are in the comments section let me know what y'all are thinking you know even like about all the news even the news that apparently we're gonna somehow get rid of quitting grimes for tim hardaway jr and i don't know how that helps us you know let me know what y'all are thinking this is absolutely insane the nba even though the draft tomorrow has come up on everybody like i didn't even know the draft was tomorrow the news that we got today is like hey 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 wake up wake the wake the fuck up wake up because Mikel Bridges to New York is absolutely insane. The New York fan base, I know they have to be excited about this. <sighs> My gosh, I'm just I'm just all over the place. I don't know what to think. Let me know what y'all are thinking again. Make sure if you haven't subscribed already, become a player in the palace. Join the family. Like, share, subscribe. It's your boy Peace. I'm going to catch y'all later. Peace out. Good night. I'm going to bed.